And tonight, friends, family, and fellow firefighters are honoring Chicago Fire Lieutenant Kevin Ward. He died this morning, just a few weeks after sustaining serious injuries while on duty. NBC5's Christian Farr has more on how Lieutenant Ward is being remembered. Kevin was just like, uh, he was doing his job. Chicago firefighter Bob Ahrens is still trying to accept the fact that his friend and fellow firefighter Lieutenant Kevin Ward has died more than two weeks after battling a northwest side fire. He's going to be missed. You know, he, he was fighting hard at the hospital. On August 11th, Lieutenant Ward had been fighting a fire in the 8300 block of West Balmoral when CFD said Ward and two other firefighters had been injured. Lieutenant Ward suffered respiratory issues that eventually led to his death nearly 20 days after that fire. This afternoon, Lieutenant Ward's body was taken from Loyola University Medical Center in Maywood and taken to the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office. Lieutenant Ward was escorted by his fellow firefighters from throughout the Chicago area, along with CPD officers. We've been to the morgue far too much this year. CFD Commissioner Annette Nance Holt was visibly shaken by Lieutenant Ward's death and said the veteran firefighter served the department for more than 25 years. He did everything adventure driven, so this was a natural fit for him because the fire department is definitely adventurous. Mayor Brandon Johnson offered his condolences and in a statement said, I pray for the peace of his family, friends and loved ones during this most difficult time. Let us keep truck number nine and all our dedicated first responders in our heart as we honor Lieutenant Ward's life and memory. Just keep the family and the fire department in your prayers. And when you see a firefighter or a paramedic, say thank you. Lieutenant Ward was 59 years old and was less than five years away from mandatory retirement. Outside of the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office, Christian Farr, NBC5 News.